Welcome, everybody, and here we are in State Overwatch Club Tournament play against Kettering Fairmont. We are about to kick off this match. Everybody, don't go anywhere. We've got a great batch of Overwatch coming your way. Bluffton goes up against Kettering Fairmont. Kettering Fairmont 7-0. and oh. Bluffton 6-1. and one. Bluffton has waited this entire season to get to the postseason. This could be their last batch in Gasp at, er, at the postseason, but they might be able to get another one here. Let's take a look and see. Hopefully, they'll be able to put something together against this amazing Kettering Fairmont team.
And ladies and gentlemen, here we go. Let's take a look and fade on over. Overwatch Club is ready to go. Oasis, the first map today. Both teams will need to come from their respective uh, corners here, either through the bottom of this and up into the King of the Hill area right here or through the main direction right here and focusing directly on it. Let's take a look here. Bluffton in blue, Kettering Fairmont in red, Bluffton with Commander Elk leading Arisa, Terrarian playing Kiriko, Mercy, Deadly Mouse, Sepia Badger, Badger as uh, Soldier 66, Gaming Wizard as Reaper, Fairmont has Corrupt Force as Lucio, and here we go. We already are out in front here. Who will get the first pick? It's soldier to soldier here, and that's it. First kill goes to Kettering Fairmont. Bluffton needs to get something going here. Kettering Fairmont is on point and is probably going to get the first pick here. Deadly Mouse keeping them alive. Terrarian looking here. And Kettering Fairmont gets the point first. There they go. And that's it right there. Kettering Fairmount on points. Cow level here, doing good work, getting the picks early. We also have Waldo, Waldoth Weenus. Eigel over here. Mark Henry 555 goes in, gets one, and there's the auto aim. Gets the other, and that's it for them. Bluffton has one alt, two alts. 75%, got to get something going here. And down they go. Big stall right there. Bluffton again, looking at two potentials. 91%, 92%, keeping them in point. 94, good stall tactic right there by Kettering Fairmont. Well done. The point is lost, and Bluffton will go down in the first half of this map. Bluffton is doing great work here, but Kettering Fairmont just absolutely crushing it on Elims. It is going to be a very, very difficult task to try and get to the point. And here they come again. Gaming Wizard, Dylan Watkins looking. Sapia Badger almost dead, gets nailed again. Doomfist in the back, going after everything. Dylan Watkins missing shots. Bluffton now down by a ton. Dylan again missing shots. Bluffton 
Bluffton is struggling here to get any elims. They tend to struggle very hard on a lot of these single point maps. Here they come. Wild Weenus doing a great work here. They are keeping Bluffton clearly off the point. Eigel. Very, very fluid here. Kettering Fairmont approaching 50%. Seals off the corner. Commander Elk has swapped. Trying to get something to happen here. Gets knocked down. 70%. Cow level. Oh, levels him out. Terrarian down. Bluffton is struggling to get anything going today. Good try right there. 93%. Bluffton again and getting absolutely demolished right now in the eliminations department. And it, Kettering Fairmont made it look easy. Bluffton's going to have to do some massive readjustments now, hopefully, to maybe get a chance in the second map. Cow level, nice job. Love it. Good auto turret here. Auto turret, I just said. Uh, auto aim. 10 player kill streak. That'll knock it out. Ladies and gentlemen, first map's in the books, and it goes to Kettering Fairmont. Ladies and gentlemen, we'll be right back. Don't go anywhere. We got a lot more Overwatch coming your way.
And we are back, folks. Here we go. Let's get to some action here. Bluffton on the defense. Kettering Fairmont in the lead. Bluffton has swapped in Wabbit. Isaac Radabaugh. And here they go. Again, that Doomfist comes in hot. Gaming Wizard gets one of them. Doomfist still, no. Ooh, and another pick by Gaming Wizard. They are up. They are up by three. Can they get this? Ooh, still, this is a great onslaught right here by Kettering Fairmont. Got him! There is a good thing. They got to capitalize here. Can they capitalize? No. Down goes Wabbit. Gaming Wizard gets Waldo. Still haven't been able to get the Doomfist. Doomfist is close. He's just not enough. Got him. They are without tank. They are without tank. Can they get this? They got the Lucio. Bluffton wins the team fight. Atta boy, Bluffton. Let's go. Gaming Wizard in his element here. Absolutely raining down some serious shots right now. Good work overall. Nice job there. It's still being contested. Gaming Wizard comes back. Swapped out. Keeping people alive. Wabbit goes absolute ham. And Bluffton gets this fight. Gets the Kiriko. Minute 34 here. Deadly Mouse, Jaden Faust, doing good work here. Here comes the Kiriko. Wabbit trying to stay alive. Oh, they're so close. But I think they all just hit Q, and that might be it. Bluffton just trying to get some time here, and they got it. Good job by Mark Henry 555. And three minutes on the clock. Here comes Kettering Fairmont. Wabbit trying to get some kills here, not getting any limbs or purchase. Commander Elk doing work here as Sigma. Two minutes 23. Ooh, that was a huge shatter right there. And cow level with the auto, auto aim. And they might get some serious purchase here. And sadly, Commander Elk goes down. Bluffton has been in this position before. 
but is going to really need to step it up. Corrupt Force has their ult. Mark Henry has their ult. And they are pushing really, really hard. Love Kettering Fairmont's dive comp here. It's working exceptionally well. Minute 44 here. Out comes Bluffton swinging. Here comes the ult from the Doom. Doom gets behind the line. And absolutely dominating here. Good job by Sigma, but I don't think it's going to get the stall they were hoping for. They are tearing Bluffton apart. Huge dive right there, and it's working amazingly well. 237, and Bluffton's beginning to trickle. And Gaming Wizard eliminated right alongside it. Wabbit trying to get something here. Doomfist in the back. Gets walled in. Can they get him? They got him! Now they have no tank. Bluffton struggling, though, to still get purchase here. Auto turret. Good wall right there. Got him. Get some purchase. Minute 39 here. Bluffton trying to keep the stall action going. Again, here comes the huge ult right there by the Doomfist. Commander Elk dancing around. Not enough. Sapia Badger trying to get some work. And nothing. Here they come. No, not enough there. And Kettering Fairmont gets it all the way to the end. Bluffton is going to need to make a huge push here and definitely focus fire a little bit better. But hopefully they'll be able to get this back into overtime just under a minute for Kettering Fairmont. Bluffton knows and showed they could defend it properly. The question then is how much further can they go? Commander Elk showing his versatility here and is definitely able to do a lot of good work here. Zarya... A huge tank in Overwatch 1 has been having a hard time trying to find their niche in Overwatch 2. And out comes Bluffton, big time, getting some serious purchase. And McHenry gets Wabbit real quick. Commander Elk gets full charge, but not enough there. Sapia Badger looking. Nope. He's about to get pounced on. I don't think Wabbit knows he's there. Got him. Tries to change it, doesn't get it. Bluffton at three minutes here. 
turrets up in the corners here. Bluffton, as soon as they get through there, the turrets will make absolute mincemeat out of them. Great, tur great turret placement. Bluffton is getting absolutely halted at this bridge. And here comes Bluffton on the attack again. Bluffton nowhere near any major... Uh... Here they come. Good use of lamp right there. Negates the ult to a very good extent. But again, the focus fire from Kettering Fairmont just absolutely demolishing any Bluffton resistance. Huge ult by Cal level there. Minute 48 here. The melty stick is not melting fast enough. Bluffton has to get on point here. It could be spelling the end of this round for them. Kettering Fairmont absolutely crushing and punishing there. They are on point here. There is not much that can be said here. Using the lasers within the tur- And they isolated and spawn camp Bluffton back. Fairmont. Claims another victory. They are one map away from moving on to the state final. Wabbit gets the play of the game, surprisingly enough. And good point right there for Bluffton. Bluffton's going to need to really reassess here. Ladies and gentlemen, don't go anywhere. We got at least one more to play.
bluffed in his back. And we are here with Kettering Fairmont looking to get something happening here. Bluffton, I believe, is on defense. Bluffton has been in this position before to do... Here they come, Bluffton on defense, already backing up, and that Bluffton has had no answer for Mark Henry 5-5's Doomfist. Absolutely staggeringly good. And again, Bluffton already down by five, is struggling to get something happening here. Oh. And Wabbit just got knocked out of the air. Cow level is doing great work here. Oh, cow level got knocked out by Gaming Wizard. But a little too late there. Bluffton is actually, it's a 5v3, doesn't make the push. Sapia Badger missed a couple of shots there. <laughs> Gaming Wizard is way up top. Here comes Corrupt Force. Bluffton's trying to make any kind of stand here, has yet to get a full team stop. Big cleanse right there. Excellent job by Kettering Fairmont. Mark Henry got the mercy. Oh, he's going to try an alt on top. Yep, watch this. Boom, he's behind him. One. That was absolutely top tier right there. Mark Henry, two elims. Ball out to try and just get some kind of stalling thing happening here. Barely able to get out. Oh, but able to stay there. Again, Doom and Mark Henry just keeping the ball in place. Mark Henry again getting the healing he needs and staying alive gets the mercy. And Bluffton, they're at four meters. Fairmont gets the full push. Bluffton will need to get the full push here if they are hoping to keep their hopes of postseason alive. To be honest, they're going to have to play one of the best rounds they've ever played in their life. I bet they can do it, but they're going to need to knuckle down and get it done. Bluffton is actually out of player today for an unknown reason. <clears throat>
Commander Elk going healer this time. That's interesting. Wabbit over here running as a Genji. Deadly Mouse playing their great mercy. Wabbit gets absolutely destroyed. And Bluffton is struggling here. Down goes Bastion, Sapia Badger. Bluffton struggling here to try and get something to happen. Not enough, and Wabbit in the backfield is going to get targeted by a Genji, and down he goes. Just under three minutes here, Bluffton has got to get something to happen. The tank is called dead, and Bluffton is starting to make a progress. Here we go! Bluffton's got a 5v4. Oh, but Cal Level snuffed that one out. Cal Level gets another one. But Cal Level's down now, too. Bluffton's got a chance. They've got to push hard. Genji doing work here in the back. Not quite enough there. Minute 56 here. Commander Elk got baited into getting booped. Cowbell knocked out. Corrupt Force looking to get the picks here. There's a huge talisman right there. Genji Nanoblades, but is struck down as well. Bluffton's got a shot here. Can they keep pushing forward? Minute 06 here, Deadly Mouse. Ooh, great play there into an alt. Don't know if that's going to work out well. Can they get the Genji? No. No, they cannot. Bluffton has struggled with hit scan all season long. This has been a very troubling, troubling day. Still missing. Still missing. Oh, Sapia Badger had an opportunity to get an Elim there. Missed it. Wabbit going toe to toe, sniper to sniper. Got wiped out by Mark Henry, 555. 24 seconds here. Bluffton is struggling, trying to keep their hopes alive. The alt, I'm not sure what happened there. Here they come, trying to keep people alive. The struggle, no, Bastion goes down. And on overtime, they're trying to stall it out. Commander Elk on the back. He might be back getting.
back capping a little bit here. Bluffton might be able to get this. Bluffton, they're, they're right there. Can they do it? Can they do it? Can they do it? Can they do it? They've got a shot. They've got a shot. They've got it. They've got it. They've got it. Can they get it? They need to get it a little more. They're all right there. It's literally three, two, it's there. They've just got to push it a little further. Gaming Wizard out in front. Oh no, they lost their tank, but they got it back. Jaden, what a revive right there. Oh, Wabbit is down. 235, Bluffton making another push here. Down it goes, and that's overtime, and that's all she wrote. Ladies and gentlemen, Kettering Fairmont wins this particular match and will proceed on to the finals for the ESO Club State Championship. Bluffton winning the fall version of this. Congratulations to them, making it back to the tournament, hopefully for a back-to-back -back repeat, but... I don't believe that will be happening. So, ladies and gentlemen, we thank you for tuning in with this. So long, everybody.